Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. And uh, this YouTube XFL prediction segment, I'm going to be giving you the 2020 Week 4 XFL preview, uh, which uh, pits the uh, LA Wildcats against the New York Guardians. Now, this particular, I mean, the XFL, I'm just honestly just starting to get into. I wanted to do a preview on this. And I just want to just it was something different. And uh, some of you may know I do a lot of, you know, do the NFL uh, prediction videos very consistently during the NFL season. I'm going to give you a preview on this XFL uh, matchup. The New York Guardians are going to be at home. I mean, they look downright deplorable over the last two games. I feel a little bit embarrassed. I'm from New York originally. They have not looked good in those two games. They had a dom dominating performance in week one. They looked nearly invincible. They had a lot more continuity on offense. But over the last two games, they've been plastered like 56 to 9 over that. Uh, over those two games, they have one touchdown, and they actually uh, they gave up the, uh, the the first. I don't know if it's the only XFL touch, but they gave up some kickoff return, I believe, as well uh, in in one of those two games. I think it was the last game they had played. And the thing about the this game, the LA. You look at the LA um, Galaxy. They match. I mean, much better statistically. They're both one and two. I understand is legendary Bill Parcells, uh, legendary NFL coach Bill Parcells said one time, "You are what your record is." They're both one and two. But I mean, it's safe to say the LA Galaxy. Uh, I'm sorry, the LA um, Wildcats. They look bad, much better than I mean, at least going into this game than the Guardians do. The LA. Um, Wildcats, they had a pretty dominant performance in that last game they played, I believe it was against D.C., and D.C. had looked pretty good going into that game. Uh, I mean, it's just very early right now, but you, you look at the Guardians, after that dominant performance in Week 1, they've really struggled over the last two games, and you have a, a little dissension, it appears, with uh, Matt McGloin, the quarterback uh, of the uh, New York Guardians, against... Um, uh, you know, with the coaches. Now, I think it's Luis Perez. They had a backup that went for the Guardians that actually played very well, had gave the uh, Guardians the only touchdown they had in that in that last game uh, that they had played against St. Louis. And But looking at this uh, right now, I mean, I'm going to reluctantly go with the New York Guardians in this game. They got their their one win was at home this season. They lost two games on the road. I there's just a feeling that I believe they're going to re be rejuvenated somehow in this game and that they won. They're going to play with some pride. They're going against they're going to be at at home in front of their home crowd. I really do believe, I mean, I'm being faithful maybe to some degree with this uh, because it is the New York team. But the thing about it is the XFL is something, I mean, it's so early right now. Even the, as bad and pitiful as the, the Guardians have looked over the last two games, you figure at some point they could, they could bounce back and play a little bit better. Sometimes just going home against a team that is, I mean, it's not just a comparable record. It's the same record that they have. It can actually... Uh, be a reprieve for them and it might be the you know it might help cure their ailments maybe so to speak in this game I think uh, I mean you, you have Matt McGloin wound up blaming uh, you know, getting mad at the coaches and and there was something online that said he blamed everybody now I didn't really I didn't look at that I didn't look at the uh, the blog to to elaborate on to see what that means but I'm hoping he's not blaming the you know, basically the whole team because when we have you know issues on offense and there's lack of continuity there's lack of cohesion it's really the whole a lot of times that's really the whole team that is uh, that that can be at fault you know when you're talking about the whole offense it's not I mean as far as all offense goes not just one single player and Matt McGloin I'm hoping that he does some introspection he's evaluating what he does is as a player right now but the thing about it is I honestly don't know who's actually going to be starting uh, for the New York Guardians at quarterback I wanted to say uh, I was looking for an injury update on Matt McGloin and I couldn't see anything online admittingly and 
But I do, um, I do believe one way or another, it, whether it's going to be McGloin or they're going to have someone else come in. I think well, you, sometimes when you have a situation like this and you have a little bit of a blow up on the team, it might actually, it, it, it maybe, it may inspire them maybe in some way to actually, uh, to actually, uh, play, you know, play better. They need, they, maybe they need this. As, it might actually act as a spark, I'm thinking, to get these guys the incentive to go out and be motivated and get the and, and get things on track uh, for this team. Uh, the the New York Guardians, as looking as bad as they had over the previous two uh, last two games, I just would think that they're going to have some pride and they're going to bounce back and win this one. It should be a, it would be a tight game. The LA uh, Wildcats are better right now. Total yards per game, their total. Uh, their passing yards uh, per game. They're averaging more points than the Guardians. The Guardians are averaging like 10.7 points per game. I think the LA um, Wildcats are averaging like 19.7 uh, points per game. But these teams again are both one and two. Uh, this is a. I mean, this these are still. I mean. XFL players are, you know, cannot, you know, I don't believe on average they're as good as these NFL players, but the XFL players are likely not far behind. And you still have the New York Guardians are still a team that has, I mean, athletic people on it. They have not looked good. Again, not to be overly redundant, over those last two games have not looked overly impressive, but the, uh, the, this is a team, though, that I believe for some reason will rebound and come back and get this W. If they don't and they wind up losing and go 1-3, and three, uh, even though it's early, especially if they get annihilated and they're blown out in this game at home to the L.A. Uh, Gal, uh, to the, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the soccer team, the L.A. Um, Wildcats. It's, it could very well be a long season uh, for them. And uh, the thing about it is they need, everybody needs to get on the right page and just work together. And I think this could, uh, I mean, this is, it's not something that's, you know, completely inconceivable uh, as far as getting this thing back on track for the Guardians. So uh, anyway, I'm going to take the Guardians in a, in a tight one. They got... I mean, no one, I don't, there's probably hardly anybody out there that's given the Guardians a chance in this game. And sometimes, though, when people aren't giving you a chance and they, and they look at you like, oh, you know, you're, you're pitiful, you're abysmal, you're, you, there's no way you can't, you, you can win. You know, you only got one touchdown over those last two games. You, your team can't score, no continuity on offense, et cetera, et cetera. This is that, that could be the motivation that they need to actually go out and get this W in front of their home crowd. And something tells me they're not going to disappoint their the home crowd in this uh, particular game. And I'm going to go uh, with them in this one. And also the gal, the, uh, the Wildcats and the, uh, the Guardians, I believe, are like, you know, the, the two worst rushing teams uh, in this game. So... At least we know, I mean, on a running standpoint, there's really not much difference uh, in these teams. Or, you know, the running game might be fairly compa comparable, you know, as far as from one to the other in, you know, one team to the other in this game. But it's going to be the passing which will likely make the difference. I expect that the, the um, New York Guardians are going to come out and they're going to be they're going to be more accurate with their passing and they're just going to get get this done. Uh, and they're going there and they will um, they will I predict they will win this game anyway people that'll conclude uh, this YouTube XFL uh, prediction segment and until next time people Edwin learns saying stay well